Okay, so today we're going to look at how to effectively search the internet. I'm going to type in Southwest Christian School. And you notice that I get 12,300,000 results, and it does it in 0.14 seconds. That's amazing. But there's no way I can look at all of those results, and there's no way that they're all relevant to what it is that I want to do. And so the reason this is happening is because Google's pretty smart, but there are some things happening in the background. Google is placing the word and between each one of these words. And so what's happening is whenever I do this search, I'm telling Google, I want you to find me a web page that has the word Southwest, the word Christian, and the word school. Not in any particular order, and not even necessarily together. I just want to know all the sites that have those three words on it, randomly. That's essentially what I've done whenever I've typed it in this way. That's why I get 12 million results. And so today what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be teaching in this little area right here, and we're going to be looking at how to do Boolean, whoops, Boolean searches, okay? We're going to be using Boolean operators. All right, so the first thing we need to do when doing effective searches is we need to start with a bracket. We're going to put all of our um, search terms in, in brackets, okay? just like that, okay? So, for example, let's put in Southwest Christian School. And you notice when I do that, it doesn't really change much because I didn't really change what I'm doing. I just told Google I want you to run a query. Now, let's actually narrow this down now. Now, we talked about how this is giving us these three words on a web page in no particular order and not necessarily as a phrase. And so what we need to do is put this in quotations. If I put it in quotations, it's going to look up all the times that, that those three words are used as a phrase. You'll notice I get 115,000 results, which is still a lot, but it's a lot less than 12 million. So we're really getting down to the, um, the narrow results that we're looking for. Okay. So there are a few other things that we're going to use. We're going to use the minus sign. We're going to use the word or. And we're going to use oops, an asterisk. Okay? So here's the deal with using the word the negative or the minus sign, okay? It needs to be directly in front of the word that you don't want. So I can do baseball, which means that I am now going to be looking for things that don't include the word baseball. Okay, um, so for to put this as an example, okay, this is what we looked at here a minute ago. I'm going to put a space here, and I'm going to subtract the word baseball. So this is going to now give me where Southwest Christian School is used when it does not include the word baseball. So these are pages online that do not include the word baseball. Okay, I narrowed it down. Now let's do a more practical result, okay? Let's say that we want to know all of the schools called Southwest Christian School or all the references to Southwest Christian School online that don't include the word Fort Worth. Now if I type it like this, what this is actually saying is I want to see all of the time Southwest Christian School is used as a phrase without the word Fort and the word Worth. You notice because, remember it puts in the, the, the word and there, this is actually just taking out the word forth and not the word worth, fort and worth, okay? And so what I need to do here is I need to put this in a quotation. Now what this is now saying is we want to run a search looking for Southwest Christian School as a phrase minus the phrase Fort Worth. Now I had to put this in quotes because it's two words. If I didn't put it in quotes, again, it was only going to take out the word fort and leave in the word worth. Okay, So now we have 65,000 results where Southwest Christian School is used and it's not referring to the city Fort Worth. Okay, so we can also do the opposite of this. If I take out the word, the negative sign or the minus sign, okay, now I am getting all of the times that Southwest Christian School is used as a phrase and the city Fort Worth as a phrase. So now I'm down to 49,000 results. It's reasonable to suspect 
that these 49,000 results are talking about our school, specifically Southwest Christian School in Fort Worth, Texas. Now, we don't have this many pages on our site, but you can imagine that our school name in conjunction with Fort Worth is used a lot of places, okay? Uh, we can look at league lineup, we can see things about great schools, okay? Different private school recruiting information for baseball, okay? All the times that it's there. So in this particular case, we have used the brackets to, op to tell Google we want to run a query. We have used quotation marks to indicate a phrase. And we have used uh, the and here, which is invisible. It's just defaulted in there. Okay? And we have also done Fort Worth. So what we're saying here is, Google, please run me a query. And I want you to find the phrase Southwest Christian School and the phrase Fort Worth and give me those results. And that's how we get a very narrowed result right here. Okay, so there's a few other ways that quotes are important. Google, by default, uses synonyms. Okay, so if I put uh, the word baseball, it's also going to search for um, synonyms of the word baseball. Now, I don't know if there are actually synonyms of the word baseball, but if there were, it would be included in the results. So if I don't want synonyms, I need to put a single word in quotation marks. And what that does for us is it's going to give me the exact word, baseball, not including synonyms. Okay? Now, this is useful sometimes, but it, it really just, again, is another way to narrow down our results. All right. Now, we also want to use the word or. Or is very important. Or is um, not the opposite of and but it helps us to narrow down our focus. So let's say that I want to put in Texas Rangers. And again, I'm going to put this in brackets here. And let me put this in quotes. Now again, if I didn't put it in quotes, I'd be looking at, oops, I'd be looking at any time that it is referencing the word Texas or Rangers and Rangers, okay? And so that's not what I want. All right, so I'm looking for the exact phrase Texas Rangers. Now I'm going to put or, Oops, I'm going to put, sorry, 2011 or 2012. Close my bracket. Now, let me explain what this is doing now. This is telling me I'm going to give you results on every time the phrase Texas Rangers is accompanied by 2011 or 2012. Now, if I didn't have the word or there, then what I'm saying is, Google, I want you to find me the phrase Texas Rangers and 2011 and 2012. So putting the or here allows me to see results that are Texas Rangers 2011 or Texas Rangers 2012. So you can see where this is just a little bit different here. Okay? All right. Now let's throw in my favorite one, okay? And that is the wild card or the asterisk, okay? Now the asterisk is used anytime you don't know what uh, character needs to be there, like a missing value. One of the ways that this is very useful, okay, let's say that I typed in the word jump. If I search for jump, it's going to look for the word jump and all of its synonyms. Now the problem is there's also jumped, past tense, there's jumping, okay? Um, so there's some different ways that this word can be used. If I put jump and then an apostrophe, it will look for jumped and jumping and any word that starts with the four letters J-U-M-P. So this is very useful if you don't remember something. Let's say, for example, that we want to see all of Southwest Christian School, um, but we don't necessarily want to see the ones that end in school. A lot of times we get referred to as academy and, and such. Okay, so I can actually put an asterisk here and then close my bracket. And this is going to look for every time that Southwest Christian is together and is accompanied by another character. Okay, so I'm going to put this in quotes because I want it as a phrase. Now it's going to give me Southwest Christian School, it's also going to give me Southwest Christian High School. Southwest Christian Chicago, Southwest Christian Care, Southwest Christian Academy. And so this is a wild card saying it can be anything after this, but we have to have the Southwest Christian part. Likewise, I can also put um, it before something. 
Now, this is really interesting. Watch this. I'm going to put Christian school. Okay. And then I'm going to put Fort Worth. Now, notice I put these in quotation marks. So this is going to show me all of the uh, references to Christian school in Fort Worth. And since I put the asterisk before the Christian, that's why it includes Fort Worth Christian, Southwest Christian, Temple Christian, Bethesda Christian. It's a wild card. So we're saying it can be anything before the word Christian, uh, but it's got to say Christian school as a phrase, and I want the Fort Worth as a phrase. I can also say, I can also put the minus sign here and get all of them outside of Fort Worth as well if I wanted to, so not including the word Fort Worth. You can also use an asterisk okay, in the middle of something. Okay, So how about I do Southwest, Oops. Southwest and I'm going to put it in between. So this is any time Southwest and school to go, go together that don't include Fort Worth. Or if I take this out, now it's going to be and Fort Worth. So there's a lot of ways that we can use these phrases, okay? So just a quick review. Always, if possible, okay, use brackets. Whoops. They help Google to know, hey, I want to use specific terminology when running a query. Query is just a fancy way, a fancy way of saying search. We have also looked at using quotations. This helps us look for exact phrases when dealing with multiple words. And when using singular words, like the word quotations, it is saying, I don't want to include synonyms. I want the actual word quotations. We have looked at the word or. This helps us to um, kind of circumvent the and that's always there to include more results. Okay, We use the example of, two, of Texas Rangers 2012 or 2011. So we're finding results for Texas Rangers 2012 and 2011, but we're not necessarily looking for 2011 and 2012 to be in the same word. Now there's another one, just one more that I want to show you. Okay, Let's do brackets, site, and uh, instead of the word site there, I want to put Southwest Christian School dot org colon athletics. And then I'm going to close whoops, sorry. Whoops. Close my thing here. Now what this is gonna do is this is going to say, I want to look for the word athletics inside of the site Southwest Christian School dot org. So if you know a specific site that you want to search in, you can type it in and then put a colon, space, and then the word you want to search for. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, most websites have a search function, so why do I need to do this? Well, not all websites do have a search function. And just because a website doesn't have a little search box doesn't mean you can't look in that particular uh, website, okay? So let's go to, let's, let's give, let's, use us as an example. This is our site that's about to be revamped. You notice there's no search box. I can't, from a surface level, search within this site. Okay, But by using the Boolean operator here, okay, again, I'm going to put it in a bracket, put a colon, space, I can actually search for a particular person or word, whatever it is I want to do. So now I have said, I want to search for Naderman, okay, our principal, inside of the site southwestchristian.org. And when I do that, it's going to give me all of the results here. This right here is actually what websites are doing whenever you enter something in the search box. It's actually going in there, and it's all it's doing is putting the site, a colon, a space, and the terms that you've put in there. Okay, so today we've looked at several things. We've looked at... Um, why searches yield so much information, and how to use Boolean operators such as quotation marks, the minus sign, the asterisk, and the word or, all while inside of brackets, can help you really narrow down your results.